sweat. It's cool. Hey Stinkers, Trace here working it for D News. We spend two billion dollars a year fighting body odor, but much of it comes from our sweat. But sweat ain't a bad thing on its own, baby. Sweat is your body trying to keep itself cool, but we're sweating constantly. Much of it's reabsorbed or evaporates before you even notice. The average person has 2.6 million sweat glands in their skin, and working at maximum overdrive, a human can produce two or three liters of perspiration every hour. Some humans have a condition called hyperhidrosis or anhydrosis, where they sweat a little bit or, or not even at all, and this is really dangerous as the body could overheat even with mild activity because our muscles generate heat all the time. Sweat itself is over Odorless, but it's a feast for bacteria. When these little monsters start munching on proteins, they start expelling E3-methyl-2-hexanoic acid, which stinks. That E3-M2H is what you're smelling, and the quickest way to lessen it is to increase your regular hygiene regimen, focusing on your underarms and your groin areas, because that is where bacteria live. There are also consumer products to help, you know, like deodorants, antiperspirants, whatever, home remedies, but I digress. Sweat is also cool, no pun intended, because we are not the only things on the planet who do sweat, and some of it is really valuable. Trees, for example, they sweat after a fashion. They release more water to cool themselves on hot days, and during the heat of the summer, a plant can release tens of gallons of water into the atmosphere, and this is why when you're walking by a field or in a forest, the air feels nice and cool. Are you feeling dirty? You should check out horse sweat. Yes, horse, not horse sweat. Equine, horse. Horses get all lathery when they sweat, and their sweat contains a protein aptly named latherin. The latherin is a detergent, kind of like soap. It helps the horse cool off, but it's also found in their mouth, where University of Glasgow researchers think it evolved to help them break down fiber. You've probably been told dogs don't sweat, but that's not strictly speaking true. Both cats and dogs do sweat through the pads on their feet, but they can pant to cool off if they need to. But the weirdest, oddest of all sweat in the animal kingdom, at least in our opinion, is from the hippo. Hippo sweat contains microscopic liquid crystalline structures that dissipate light, acting like sunscreen or sunblock. But it's all red and oily. Some people see it and think, that hippo is bleeding, but it's not. Not only does hippo sweat block light, it is also a bug repellent and an antiseptic. Scientists are working to synthesize it for human use right now. Another strange sweaty trend is the lack of BO in some humans. A study in the UK determined around 1.6% of human sweat don't stank. They discovered a gene called ABCC11. When tripped somehow, this changes the composition of human sweat, and based on what we know, it probably changes what's in the sweat, so those little bacteria don't like to chow down on it. But the people that have turned this gene on also have dry earwax, which is kind of strange. For a full sweaty swath of the animal kingdom, go to discoverynews.com and check out our list. But if you want to see me and Anthony and Lacey sweat under the weight of your questions, be sure you RSVP for our Google Hangout on Thursday, June 27th. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching D News. Adios.